and we're here with Lynette Cook talking more about our new exhibition up at the Caldwell Gallery at 400 County Center in Redwood City. Lynette, what do we have today? Here we have the Golden Gate Bridge, the view that my mom took and I did, our approach to the same view of the bridge, uh, looking straight down at the traffic. And I find it really fun to see that she made some decisions differently than I did here. For example, she said to me, I'm just simply not going to put in as many cars. Mm. Uh, but I love her little vehicles. They're just totally cute. And she has the little zipper uh, truck here in the middle. So I love what she did. And it's like, it's just right. That number is just perfect for what she did. And yet I put in everything that was in my reference folder. Oh my gosh, look at all of these trucks and cars. And yep, the little zippers there too. And I put in all of the lights just as I saw them. And she decided on the other hand, hey, I don't think I'm gonna put in those lights. We've got enough going on here. And I think she's right about that. I mean, I remember how hard she worked down here on the structure. And she just kept telling me, oh, this is taking hours and hours and hours. I said, well, yeah, it does. Um, you both did shadow work. We did, we did, absolutely. And when I look at the finished pieces, I feel like she made exactly the right decisions for the textile, and I feel like I make good decisions for the painting. So they complement each other very well. They're both similar and also very different in really interesting ways. Thank you so much. I think that really speaks to the heart of the show in doing paired artworks. Today we're here with Lynette Cook discussing her new exhibition at 400 County Center in Redwood City. Lynette, tell us about these pieces. Well, these are really fun because I was in Chinatown uh, on a day when uh, there was a celebration here bringing in the lion dancers who are going business to business and we're sitting on firecrackers. And I took some shots, and when my mother and I were looking at images to work on, this was one of our favorites. And what I really like about this pair is the difference between the textile and the painting. You can see the painting is very flat, and what my tools are are value and color in order to describe the form and the shapes. But my mother is able to add three-dimensional elements that are textural and uh, with the embroidery floss here, uh, she just gets this nice fuzzy body for the lion and she adds in beads and uh, you know, these wonderful little uh, filaments sticking down here. And then she sometimes will scrunch up the fabric so she gets ripples and, and uh, it, it, you just have a sense of, of the shapes and the forms and how the light captures it differently than in the painting. And it's so fun to compare and contrast them. And I think it really shows off to great advantage what the differences are in these mediums and also the similarities. Fantastic, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 